Yesterday, I campaigned in West Medford. I knocked on doors in West Medford. I campaigned at the post office, and I met some folks there. And then I was in front of the library at the end of the day. And a gentleman came up to me. His, uh, his daughter is a, a student with special needs, and she's at one of our schools in town. And he said, um, I got your literature. I got the letter you sent. That was nice of you to send me a, a long letter with your ideas. He said, but you know, I want to talk to you about my daughter. And I said, go ahead. Tell me, tell me the story. <clears throat> she, he said, well, uh, we, uh, she was in an out-of-district placement last year, and now she's in the district at, at one of our schools in a special program. And I said, how's it going? He said, so far, so good. You know, but uh, I think we need more attention here in Arlington. I think we need more support. I'm glad that the school committee voted last year to put some more money into in-house programs. I'm glad that Susan and I and others did that. And he was glad that that happened. But he said, you need to do more. And he said, if you get elected state representative, you can't think about, you can't forget about Arlington and West Medford and our needs. And you can't forget about the need to bring more resources back to this community. <coughs> And that story illustrated to me why I like public service, why I love public service, and why I think I can make government work for people. This gentleman had a concrete need. His daughter needs better services. His daughter has some special needs. And all of us in this community have a legal and a moral obligation to do something to help that child. And I think we have in Arlington. The school committee has taken some difficult votes. The budget vote we took a few years ago that cut some administrative positions and put more resources for children made it possible for that child to have her education here in our district rather than out of the district. But that child needs more services, and that's why I'm running for state representative, to bring more assistance back to this community. 